All right. Good morning. Um, shh, Eli. Okay. Um, good morning. My name is Virginia George from virginiagegeorge.com, and today um, is my first Periscope, um, and today I'm going to go over He's fine. Okay. Um, okay. He wants to play. Okay. All right. Sorry. So, um, again, my name is Virginia George with VirginiaGeorge.com, and today we are going to, um, I'm just going to show you um, one of our favorite games from Simply Fun. Um, I started with Simply Fun last summer, or no, the fall. Um, we started the year homeschooling the kids and just kind of wanted some games and things that the kids could play that would be educational um, and that um, so different people are different. Some people love to sit down and spend all this time playing games yeah. and um, interacting in um, um, you know pretend play and like all of that's not really my thing. Um, I love to wrestle. Um, with my kids, but the whole, um, like just sitting down and being creative with them is not really my strong suit. So one of the really great things about Simply Fun Games is that they're all designed to be played in 30 minutes or less. Um, so I can handle a game that I know is going to last 30 minutes or less. Um, it's just a whole lot, um, I don't know, it's, it's more feasible for me. You know, the other thing, um, Digger's Garden Match. Yep, we're going to play that in a second. Um, so, yeah, just wait. We're going to play it in a minute. I've got my helper here to um, help demonstrate the game for you today. So, um, yeah, so Simply Fun, I'm going to flip this around and you can see, um, you can see the game. Um, here, set it down. Set it on the table. So here's Digger's Garden Match. It's one of our favorite games because um, kids, my three-year-old can play it, my ten-year-old can play it, my husband gets a kick out of playing it with the kids. So there's really, um, the beauty of Simply Fun Games is that they are, a lot of them are very um, versatile. So you can play with easier rules for younger kids and you can play with more challenging rules for older kids. I'm going to see if this is going to work for me here. So the boxes um, really are constructed very well, um, which is one thing. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Which is one thing that I really yeah, yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah, because yeah, I really yeah. hate it when you buy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Eli, stop. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I really hate it when you buy a game and the box falls apart right away. Um, so here is here is the game. Um, so the games, um, yeah, they're versatile. They're pretty easy to play. Set it down. Set it down so we can show. No, Mom. You can't be so now. Okay. So there, this is the the board. You start at the dog house and you work your way around to 50 and you score points. Um, if you've ever played dominoes or triom triominoes or something like that, it's kind of a similar premise. Um, so we have, these are our... Things that we play with. Okay, go sit in your chair and pick your color. And blue, blue, and your purple. Okay. Um, so these are the tiles, the playing tiles. And this is the one that you start with. It has the, the paws on it. Um, so you start with that in the middle. Okay, and then everybody... Gets two. Gets two, yep. So pick your two. Okay, and then um, the the goal then is to match. Um, you match to get points. So, all right. So these are my two tiles here, and um, so I'll go first. So I'm gonna take this. Um, Hi, Destiny. And I saw that Danielle is here. So thank you guys for joining me today. 
So here is, we start, um, so now I get one, two, three, four, five points. So you match color or shape. On the first one, you obviously have to match color. Um, but on subsequent ones, you can match color or shape, and you don't have to match the same. You know, if you do, one can be matched color and one can be matched shape. We'll kind of show you that in a second here. So, um, so I'm going to take my bone here and move it five. All right, your turn, buddy. So my turn to me. Cause no, mine's my not. turn. Then you you have you have to put yours right on here. Okay, so yes, it is um, it is like dominoes. Um, so you'll see as oh, and I got to new one. So you see as we get um, as we get going, um, it gets the board gets more complex, and you can try and figure out like here I have yellow, that and those are different shapes, so that won't match. Um, but you can kind no, of figure I out can. like um, you know you only need to place one. Okay, watch out, buddy. So hi Katie, welcome. Um, so here you could I could play here. Um, I match blue and I match purple. Um, you can. So now he. And I match the dots. You did, yep. And so One, now I'm. One, two, three, four, five. Five. All right. So move five. So. Um, it teaches counting and problem solving, um, and just critical uh, thinking. <laughs> Thank you, Danielle. He's, no, uh, he's fun. Um, a little exhausting you. sometimes, but, hey, mommy, um, well, mommy, honey. When, when I, when I was five, I have to do deal, then I also do to play, and I also do to, to sit. Okay. So you can also, like I said, you can also match. So once the board gets more complex, it gets kind of fun to try and figure out, you know, as you're going through, you try and figure out where. Um, um, no, this isn't a game that I, um, that we made. This is from Simply Fun. Um, it's called Digger's Garden Match. Um, Simply Fun is they have educational games for kids. I mean, honestly, from little ones, um, there's even simpler games than this on up through, um, you know, they games that are appropriate that. for high school. We no, have one game I, that I'm going to talk about next week called no, Kilter. And you should have seen my father-in-law and my husband um, playing at Thanksgiving. Oh, so there's a good one. So you can Don't see now this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So on neither of these, he didn't match color on any of them. He matched the shapes, but you could match color or shape. And then every triangle that you match, like every set, you get to move that many, that many um, places here on the board. So, um, yeah, so that is Digger's Guarded Match. Um, let's see. There we go. Um, so that's kind of a quick synopsis of Digger's Guarded Match. Like I said, it is... A favorite here um, just because it's it's simple to play um, my three-year-old absolutely loves playing this game he plays it just about every day um, when he gets the opportunity and um, okay just a minute um, and we can pound out a couple of games in a half an hour which is really um, really nice it helps it makes me feel good about sitting down and spending that quality you know focused time with him um, but not knowing that it's not going to take up my whole afternoon if I have other things that I need to do. So um, you can get a hold of Simply Fun Games at Simply Fun. Thank you, awesomeness. Um, simplyfun.com slash vgeorge is where you can get a hold of, um, of these games. And like I said, this one is called Digger's Garden Match. Some of our other favorites are Be Alert and... Um, Kilter, which I'll talk about next week. And yes, it is really, really great for one-on-one. -on -one. It gives you, like I said, something focused to do. Um, it teaches skills. You know, you're having to analyze which ones um, can fit and you're twisting them and turning them and looking at colors and shapes. So you're kind of analyzing several um, several different things all at once. Um, yeah. Simply Fun is a direct sales company.
So, um, yeah, I guess I'm sort of a sales rep. They call it playologist. Um, so you can go, if you go through simplyfun.com slash vgeorge, you will, um, you'll, um, then the sales will go through me and you can email me and ask me any questions that you have about games. They also have kind of a cool little finder um, where you can put in what kinds of things you're looking for, what kinds of, like what age group and what skill set you're looking to work on with your kids or, um, you know, just what, whether you're looking for math skills or language skills or whatever and it will um, help you find a game that you're that will meet those needs for the age group that you're looking for and everything else so it's really a pretty great tool so again that is simplyfun.com slash vgeorge so I am going to sign off here and finish this game with my boys I've got one boy homesick from school today and um, the other one is itching to play so um, we will do that I'm gonna do that so I will be back on tomorrow at 8 a.m. Central, we'll be talking about, um, I think, something inspirational tomorrow. So I hope to see you. Um, in the meantime, go ahead and follow on Twitter. If you have any questions, um, my handle is at VerGeorge. Um, so go ahead and give me a tweet. Uh, also, pop on over and visit my good friend Katie Horner. Um, she's going to be on here in just a few minutes. And I think that she's going to be followed then by um, my friend Donita over at Prairie Dust. So hi, Donita. We're just wrapping up, trying to give you a shout out for your um, scope coming up in a little bit. So um, thank you guys for being here. And um, yeah, shoot me a tweet with any questions at Bird George. And um, you can get your Simply Fun games at simplyfun.com slash George. Hi, Donita. We're wrapping up. So um, thanks for, for being here, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.